My name's Simon Pepper and I was the project architect on the Kilda Observatory. It was a big surprise and we're yeah. thrilled to have uh, received the galvanising award. Well, it's obviously a recognition, I think, for all the, uh, the hard work everyone put in. Um, not just us, but also the, uh, the metal workers, the engineers and the, uh, the various contractors that were involved in the project. It was actually um, a competition win, a really competition win. Um, the, the idea was uh, to create a, a land pier uh, uh, in the landscape and um, contain the, um, the, the telescopes in a more sort of formal structure within the sort of uh, environment that there is up there. The competition was, I think it was 2005-2006, so it was uh, probably about a year's development after, after that before it went on site, and the build was about 10 months. The observatory is quite uh, simple in, in the terms of the language that it uses and the materials that we used. Um, the, um, the woods, are, they're, they're not, we weren't able to source them locally, um, but they are local species uh, within the forest there. And the, the galvanised elements kind of reflected the, the, uh, the simplicity of, of, the, uh, of, of the structural elements. It's supported on, um, on timber columns, but those obviously need to be uh, fixed down to, to uh, um, footings and uh, to be braced. And so the galvanising elements were, were for the bracing for that, the, the, the feet and a lot of the linkages of the uh, timber components, some of which aren't visible, some of them are, um, but, but then the, the, the further details are, are things like the handrails, which are obviously quite tactile as well. Yeah. It's actually an off-grid building, so it's uh, totally autonomous in its uh, sort of power supply. It has photovoltaic panels and a wind turbine that uh, charge up a bank of batteries, so the, um, the telescopes and the shutters and all the electrical uh, components like the lighting that, that, that there is, is on site is, is, pow is powered and by the self-generated uh, um, self power stored in the batteries. Yeah. There's no, the, no direct link to any services. Um, waste is contained on site and there's no running water there either. So, so it's quite an isolated site physically and, uh, and, and service-wise as well.